Hi everybody. So today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be an intro I'm going to be putting on several videos. I'm going to make a little bit of a series. And in this series, I decided to try and make some beginner's tutorials that aren't only for beginners. So my concept, and I don't know how this is going to go over, so please comment and let me know what you think and we will go from there. But I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing and we will get started. Okay. Now, I've made several videos using household items like a toothpick and a Q-tip without the end and the Q-tip with the end and the pen, etc. So that people that are just starting out can grab household items and down along with us. So these are things that everybody should have in their house. I'm going to explain them just a little bit more. And this intro is going to be at the beginning of these tutorials. So if you've seen this before, feel free to bypass it. So this is just a regular toothpick. Now this is a cotton swab and it's one of those um, cardboardy type. And I've totally removed the cotton swab from one end. And that's what we're going to use for Donnie. Then this is a, a cotton swab end with the cotton swab still on it. And you take paint, swirl it around, let it dry a little, and use this for Donnie. Then just one of these pens that, you know, you push the button to push the pen down. I use this end of the pen. To dot with and a regular pencil eraser now in the past I've just made videos using these objects now I'm going to do one using my actual dotting tools now these dotting tools they're called do-it-yourself mandala stones and they're available on Etsy and they will will be a link to it in the description but these are the tools I like to use all the time because they have a wide variety of sizes. And really, for the price, you can't go wrong. But these are what I use in all my tutorials. So what I did was I dotted with the regular household items. And then I found a corresponding tool. So like, here's the toothpick. When I dot, the green is what the toothpick is, and then I found one that would match, and the blue is the do-it-yourself. So a toothpick is the size one, and then the cotton swab with no cotton swab on the end, I dotted those, and then I dotted until I found the tool, which is number five, and so forth, so that I know the tool number for the sizes of the household items. And then I also wrote down what the millimeter size of those objects are as well. So I'm going to be using my regular dotting tools for making my design. But I'm only going to be using these five sizes. And then as I'm dotting, I will tell you the color and in, there'll be a little box that pops up in one of the corners that will say, like, toothpick, number one, and 0 0.5 millimeters. And then as I switch tools, it's going to switch what it says. So if I go up to this tool, it will say, Q-tip, no swab, number five tool, and 2.5 millimeter. So... Depending on what tools you use, you should be able to do the pattern. So this is so that new people that are just starting out can do the same pattern that people that have been dotting for a while that may have the tools can do at the same time. So all these will be dots. I'm going to, in the future, start doing some swoops in that. I'm going to make like a series and I might not have one of these every week, 
but I'm going to pop these in occasionally and try and advance them up so that the new people have some material they can use too. And it's just not, you know, 10 by 10 inch designs that are overwhelming. But people that have been dotting a while can still do these patterns. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be talking through them yet. This one, I probably will. The, this is the first one, which won't apply to the other ones. But um, I may go to no talking in them. I'll have to see. And I might make one that has talking and one that doesn't have talking. Because you shouldn't really need it if I'm showing the tool and the paint in the description box. So we will go from there and see how this goes. So let me know what you think in the description. Thanks. Okay, for this week's design, I'm going to be painting just on this four by four sheet of cardboard that I cut out. Now, if you've been painting a while and you have canvases and that, or you have coasters, whatever you got, Feel free to use those. I'm just going to use cardboard. So I use some of the materials that newer people will be using. And then I'm just going to use this Deco Art Lamp Ebony Black. Use my paintbrush and put several coats of paint on this. Now I'm going to show you this is going to bow up. Because they always do. That's normal for cheap cardboard. Yeah, it's doing that. That's normal. It'll bow like that, but as it dries, it'll lay flatter. I usually do at least two coats on here. Okay, but the, now I blew this dry to get it dry quicker, and then it was easy to bend and get flat. So you might have to do that. Just so you know, for this design, we're going to be using these colors. Snow Titanium White, Lamp Ebony Black, and then these three colors. Purple Pizzazz, Vivid Violet, and Pistachio Mint. Now, I will be using white to lighten some of these colors at times so that we get more colors, but I wanted to try and keep the color count down for new people. Now, you can use whatever colors you have. I'm going to try and make the design very easy to change your colors out. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do any guidelines for this one. I'm just going to find my center. So, I'm going to go across corner to corner and make a little line. Now, this is General's uh, Pastel Chalk Pencil. And it wipes off with a Q-tip and water, but if you just have a regular pencil, that's fine because we're going to be dotting over this anyways. So you're not going to see it. And I just try and keep the line as small as I can. If you're using regular pencil, you could just take and um, apply paint over the top of that so you don't see it. Okay, so... We're going to start out with our biggest dot, which would be the pencil eraser or the number 13 tool. So it will be these. And I'm going to use white for my center dot. Now I really dip it in the paint and fully depress to make that size dot so you can get an even size dot as I am. Now I'm going to move on and go all the way to the smallest one which would be a size one or the toothpick and I'm going to do a dot 
and the top and the bottom and both sides to divide this out. Okay, now I'm going to do one dot in between those to divide them out again. And then yet one more time. Now if you need to spin your canvas or cardboard or whatever you're using around, then go ahead and do that so you can see what you're doing. There we go. Now normally I'd work my way up, but since we have limited tools, I'm going to still use the number one tool. And this time I'm going to go to this vivid violet color. Okay, and I'm still using the number one, which is still the toothpick. And I'm just going to go out and do another row of dots right in between the previous row of dots. Now I'm going to use the same color that we were using, only I'm going to go up to the next size dot, which would be the number five tool or the Q-tip without the cotton swab. And we're going to do every other space around. So instead of putting it in each in between section, you're going to skip one. Now we're going to go back down to the number one tool or the toothpick if you're using a toothpick and we're going to walk the dots around what we just did again using this snow titanium white color so around each of these bigger purple dots let me zoom in a little bit we're going to put a dot straight out from that center circle. And then we're going to reapply paint and dot multiple dots so that they get smaller going towards the inside. You should be able to fit two or three dots around each one. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing that we just did, only this time we're going to use the Vivid Violet, still with the number one and the toothpick. And we're just going to dot, make a dot out from here and then walk the dots down the sides around each one of these.
Yeah, now I purposely did this with the same color as the inside dots to show you that you can just make a really pretty design with just a couple colors. You don't have to have all these colors. But let's continue on. Now I'm going to move up to the number five or the cotton swab without the cotton swab on it. And I'm going to go to this pistachio mint color. And I'm going to put a dot just right in the crevice coming out of each one of those. I think I'm going to go down to the toothpick or the number one tool with that same color, the pistachio mint. And I'm going to do a dot here right in the middle and then one to either side and they're all going to be the same size dots i'm not walking them i'm redipping Okay, now we're going to come out and make a bigger white dot. I'm going to move to the number five. So it will be number five, or it will be the Q-tip without the Q-tip swab on it. And I'm going to use the, the white again. And I'm going to make a dot right out from these in the center. Okay, now we're going to make a big dot. We're going to move up to the number eight. which would be the cotton swab or the number eight. And I'm still going to use the, the white and I'm going to make another dot straight out from what we just did. Okay, now I want to incorporate the other color that I had. So I'm going to go to this purple pizzazz color. Um, we're going to use the number five or the cotton swab without the cotton swab. And I'm going to do dots right at the base of the white, kind of in the crease of where the two white dots meet. Now with the number five, I'm going to do a dot right at the top of these in the same color. 
and with the same number. So I'm not going to show tool tips for that. All right, now using the same tool, still the number five or the cotton swab without the cotton swab, we're going to go and we're going to use this vivid violet color. We're going to do a dot in the center. of each one of those. Now, I think this is looking really cute. I'm going to go up again to the number 8, because that's the largest one we've used so far, which is the Q-tip with the cotton swab attached to it. We're going up to that size. And we're going to come back in with this pistachio mint color. And I'm going to put a dot right on top of that furthest purple dot. And now still using that pistachio, we're going to go down to the number one, which is the toothpick size. And this pistachio color still. And I'm going to put a dot in between these dots all the way down here just like the four on each one of them you see how they're in between just to pull that color in a little bit more hopefully you left enough space in between if you didn't you could put it out further, like out here, if you need to. We're not going to overcrowd this space, so it's okay if you don't have room to put it where I'm putting it. Now I'm going to get just a little bit more detailed, which might be hard for the newer people, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to use the number five, which is the cotton swab without the end, and the white. And we're going to put a dot in between these two pink dots here. Put it just like out just a little bit, but centered in between them. And getting your spacing correct is just a matter of practice. So just do the best you could do. Just in between and out just a touch from them. And this doesn't have to be perfect. We're not basing tons of stuff off these dots that you're even going to notice if it's off a little bit. So 
Don't worry about it. I just want to make kind of a frilly pattern to, to finish this design off. So we're also going to use this same thing and we're going to do a white dot above each one of these green ones. There we go. And now here's our tricky part for the new people. We're gonna go to the toothpick or the number one, whichever you're using. And the number white, or the <laughs> color white, there's no titanium white. And we're going to walk dots. And we're going to go from the furthest out and we're going to go to those white dots on both sides and just walk as many as you can get to get to it and this does not have to be perfect it's just going to give it a nice little border There. Now that just adds a little bit of a border to it. And it's really not that tricky if you just take it in little steps and just look at what you're walking, you know, right to that one, right to that one, right to that one. And it just makes it look more finished. So now I'm, I'm going to add a few more dots because I just, I go dot crazy. I can't help myself. And I just want to put some bigger dots out further. So I'm going to go up to, I think, all the way up to our biggest size, which is the 13, or the pencil eraser, whichever one you're using. And I'm going to put some bigger dots just in here to fill the paper up just a little bit more. And I think I'm just gonna use the white, the snow titanium white again. Okay, and now I'm going to go all the way down to the number one, or the toothpick, and I'm going to walk some dots around these just to make them look like they fit in there a little bit better, and I think I'm going to use this purple pizzazz color. And now because I don't like that you cannot see that so well, I'm going to go with the number one in Vivid Violet, which would be the toothpick. 
and I'm going to walk another set of dots around. Right. Now I think we're pretty good as far as the design goes and we're going to come in and do some top dots. Make sure this is fully dry before you do that. Okay, we're going to mix a few colors. The first one we're going to mix is this purple pizzazz and white. And all I want to do is make it just a little bit lighter shade so I could tap dot on those inner purple ones alright that's plenty good enough so now I'm going to use the number one tool or the toothpick and I'm going to dot on these purple ones in the center. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the Vivid Violet. And we're going to mix Vivid Violet with a little bit of white. Okay, so we're using the number one or the toothpick and we're going to dot on those center ones just like we did the other ones. Okay, and we're also going to do the ones in here. Now, still using the toothpick, I'm going to use the toothpick with a number one and this mint pistachio and I'm going to dot on these white dots Okay, and then on these big ones here, which I do believe is number eight, let's go with the number five, five or the Q-tip without the tip to it, and we're going to go with this Vivid Violet. 
and I'm going to dot on each one of these circles going around. Okay, and then still using the number five and the same color we're going to dot in here too. I'm going to leave it at that because I think that that is just so pretty. I hope you guys do too. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it, like it, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I love you. I have you. And for all of you that have been around, I hope that this was fulfilling for you too. Let me know in comments, please. Thank you, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.